Checked all my options, worked off my dues Played all the cards, now there's nothing to lose Don't want tomorrow to be like today That's why I'm breaking away I'm trying to run, I'm trying to hide What can I win if I'm losing my pride? Won't let tomorrow be like today Ten to six, you know. Yes, 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 it is, yes, Oz. Yeah, but he was supposed to be here at two o'clock. Oh, yeah, maybe his car broke down. It's not right. Well, I can think of better things to do than hanging around here on a Friday night, freezing me nuts off. Hello, hello, hello. Get his end like mouse on his back in the night. Thank you, Mr. Price. Get it. What's this? Some kind of British protest meeting. We want my wages, don't we? It is not my responsibility, it is the agent who... We know it. that, we know that, we just don't know where he is, man. This is your business, it is not mine. Oh, well, that's all right, but if we don't get paid, we just don't come to work next week, all right? Well, then, I sent for some more out-of-work Englanders. Get that joy out of him, you know. Stand out there, eh? See if that's gonna make him turn up any faster, you know what I mean, eh? Well, Mr. Fist is never usually this late, Dennis. I like to get to the post office every Friday night, and that way Brenda yeah. gets her money first thing Monday morning. Yeah, there's no panic, man. I mean, you know, don't forget. This bloke, he must cover, what, 15 sites in a day, you know? He could have could have got held up. Could have got a poster, you know, anything. Mm, I suppose so. Hmm? It's like what Bomber told us the other day. Huh? There were 30 of the Brits, you know, when he was working in Essen a year ago, waiting for their money. The age had never turned up at all. Oh, come? Why not, they? <laughs> well, it turns out he'd legged it to Hamburg, left his wife, took all of their money, and some young Fraulein, you know, from the architect's office. Well, I've had enough of this. I mean, there's no point standing here like spare pricks at a wedding, is there? I mean, he knows where we live, doesn't he? All right. Might as well get back and put the cattle on, eh? Yeah. Oh, well, can't keep a nice young frown line waiting. i better wash me barnet, eh? Well, I'm going to wait it out. Hey, you know what I'm going to do when he does turn up? Pardon? I'm going to connect him to this hose pipe here, and I'm going to blow gravel right up his jacksy. Ah, oh, yes. Yeah, one approach, isn't it, McGowan? Yeah. Oh, on the other hand, you could always take a hard line, though. And still hasn't showed up. It won't come now. We I mean, McGowan's still out there. Best he don't show up then, if that hard case McGowan's waiting for him. Hey, Bummer, what happened when that agent did a run with your scratch? We went short. We could have tracked him to Berlin, I suppose, but that would have cost more than what he owed us. Hey, that's a disgrace. And we need protection against that kind of thing. Of course we haven't. We're on the lump level. So what am I meant to tell Brenda? Tell her what I told mine. The truth and nothing but. I suppose so. Of course, she didn't believe me. Oh, Brenda counts on her money every Monday morning. 
Well, I come to mean I'll be free the night. Look at it this way. If you stay the night, you save that much more. Very true, Dennis. Saving money's the reason we're all here, isn't it? Not for me, it's not, mate. Well, it is for me. Brenda understands that. Well, Barry's not married. What's he serving up for? I'm the sole source of income in my family, I am. Look, my old mum relies on my wage packet since my dad passed on. Uh, and what's left goes into my account at the West Bromwich and District Building Society for my future. The way you drive that motorbike of yours, I don't rent you as much of a future. <laughs> Look, I'm not bothered about the future, man. I'm bothered about Friday night, which is now, in case anybody's noticed. Well, all right, you'll miss one Friday night's bevying. So you can send away that little bit more, eh? A little bit more than sending out to begin with, man. You don't send her anything. Well, look, it's like Dan said, isn't it? Well, not working yet officially. So War Marjorie still cops for the Social Security. Now, if I go sending money home, it's going to jeopardise our benefits, isn't it? So what I'm here, I'm doing on a Friday and Saturday. But if there's anything left, well, I'll keep that for Monday. You should learn to control your cash flows. I mean, if you had a more sensible fiscal strategy, but, I mean, you'd make your bread last a week. And you'd be off down the old stack like yours truly. Well, hey, I don't know how you manage. Most of the women you take out. You know, well, this one's got her own car, hasn't she? Yeah. yeah, well, that saves me the cab fare, doesn't it? And she's got her own place where she likes to prepare candlelit dinners for two. So all I've got to do is fork out for a bottle of plum, can I? We can learn a lot from you, we can, Wayne. Fiscal strategy, son. Here, then, if Fister does show up, collect me wages for us, will you? Yeah, yeah. Go, go, lads. Catch you later. Right. Uh, Ta-da. Have to reconcile ourselves to a nighty night, I suppose. You know, a little home away from home. Home? It's more like a hospital ward since Moxie moved in. All it can smell is Vicks vape or rub and liniment. God knows what. I heard that. Oh, you're in there, are you? It's not funny, you know, having inflamed brogs. It's even less funny kipping next to them. You sound like an asthmatic pit pony, man. Oh, get out of my face, Oh, Oz. come on, fair's fair. If it weren't for Moxie, we wouldn't have a dartboard, would we? Which will help to while away the evening, won't it? There's, uh, anybody want to go? Mr. Fister, you all right? What's up with yeah. your nose? You got my money? I have today uh, many problems on the autobahn. Take it easy, it'll be all right. Uh, Never get some hot water. Huh? What's happened? You got a car crash or something? No, no, this was your friend, McGowan. He does not like it that I'm late, I think. <laughs> Freezing breath on a window pane, dying, waiting. Pass him along. Cheers, guys. Hey, it's put behind a bit, hasn't it? Fist up being late. Still someone's there Friday night, though. Cheers, Plenty of time to do a bit of carnage, that bomb. Yeah, I thought you were putting it aside for your future. Oh, I am, I am. Dennis said, yeah, but I still think, un considered under which squalid circumstances we all live, I think it's very important that we every now and again, you know, just sort uh, of let it all hang out, you know. That's the main reason you're here, you see. That's the main reason why nearly everybody's here. It's not for the money you send back. You're trying to recapture your adolescence, which you lads missed by getting married too young in the first place. No, 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 not me, not, not me, Dennis. No, not married, mate. No. I like to stay free, you know. Yeah, well, you're the rare exception, you know what I mean, buddy? Yeah? Yeah? Oh, everything Den's right. We all took the plunge too soon. I'm only 19, I was. Hmm. Bloody madness, man. Yeah, and your marriage is down the toilet now, isn't it? I beg your pardon? It's well, fierce facts, Dennis. I mean, you're getting divorced, aren't you? I mean, that's why you shouldn't keep on to me, getting on my back about my marriage. Oh, so your marriage is a mockery. What? You admitted yourself you don't even send your Marjorie nothing. We're still together, aren't we? Oh, Gateshead's most stable couple. Yeah, there's not that much competition up there no, these we days. We all got it for better or for worse. Come the end of the day, I reckon we all know where our responsibility lies. Oh, look at that. Well, he likes it. I wish they were their age. Well, I'm his their age. Wait for me. Ever very attractive. Look at 
can't cost that much, Neville. But it's in Belgium, then. That's another country. Aye, but it's not very far, man. Look at the map, man. It's no farther than, say, from uh, Sunderland to Wembley. Well, there's no chance of Sunderland getting to Wembley, is there? I know that, man, but they are going to Lee Years, ah. and we should be there. It'll only be a couple of hours in the car. Oh, well, I haven't got a car, have I? Well, we'll go on the train, then. No, we need passports for Belgium. Look, we've got passports, Neville. That's how come they let us into Germany. Well, how much is the train going to cost? We have no idea, but it can't cost all that much, man. Oh, but it's a midweek game, right? That means we'll have to knock off early, probably end up stopping the night. We're bound to lose a whole day's pay. Look, never, man. Sometimes it's worth it, you know. All we've done since we've got here is lay bricks. I mean, we're entitled to the occasional fling. Don't tell Brenda that. Look, we're not telling Brenda. Look, man, we're not off on some junket to the Riviera. We're only going to Liège to offer Sunderland a little bit of encouragement. Don't sound much like a fling to me. Sounds more like a penance. Oh, I would have better than Bristol Rovers any day. Mm, true, right they are. But then Sid is my team. Always has been. Yeah. Oh, I'd like to go then. Of course I would. In principle. It's just I, I don't want to be too extravagant. Uh, uh, turn round a minute and shut your eyes. What? I'm going to surprise you, man. Turn round and shut your eyes. I know you two, you'll peep now. Go on. Are your eyes shut? Aye. Sure? Aye. Right. <laughs> da -da, da -da. <laughs> what do you think of that? What is that? I just bought it. Got twin speakers, tape deck radio, and a little toy telly on the top. Sound there? Eh? Where'd you get it? Bought it off uh, Fergie, you know, that jock. He's going home tonight and uh, said he wanted to take a few quid home to the missus, you know. That's more than you'll ever do, Oz. Look, I'm the one who's here, aren't I? I'm entitled to some sort of creature comforts, aren't I? Oh, I don't you think your wife's entitled to the same? Certainly, yes. And uh, she'll reap the benefit when I go back, won't she? She can play all them horrible Barry Manilow tapes on them. Watch, watch this. Yeah. Well, that's a good picture. What's the film? Scott of the Antarctic? Ha, ha, ha. Well, it worked all right when he's sure, is it? Hold on, hold on. He said it sometimes needs a, a little top. You're a lunatic, Oz. I mean, you've only been here three weeks and already you're in hock. That must have cost you a week's wages, huh? No, it hasn't, man. I'm a lot more responsible than what you think, Dennis, you know. I mean, I know I've got commitments. And I wouldn't do all my money in on this without keeping a little bit back for the Sunderland Lears game. <laughs> If I come up there, you know what's going to happen. Do you know, I may not be mechanically minded, but I think I'll fix this. What did you do? Not quite sure. It's not clogged up anymore. Great. You can fix Kevin's bike next. Beginner's luck, pet. I'm quitting while I'm ahead. Dennis never did anything round the house. For a man with his own building business, you'd think we'd have something to show for it. Like double glazing or a roof that didn't leak. Have you heard from him? His money came today. It was a day late, but I never worry. He's very straight that way, and the kids get a letter every week. When your kids write to Dennis, do they mention me? Dennis knows about you. Yeah, I know that, but I'm coming from them, it must hit home a bit. Kevin mentioned you last week. Did he? He said Alan promised to fix me bike, but I don't suppose he ever will. All right, all right. Where is it? It's in the garage. Hey, you'll need a torch. Unless, of course, he'd like to fix the light. I told you, Vera, if you're looking for an old job, man, you've picked the wrong bloke. Must be something else I'm after, then. <laughs> Who can that be? Can it be the Jehovah's Witnesses? We had them last night. Yes? 
Are you Vera Patterson? Uh-huh. I'm Marjorie Osborne. I'm sorry, who? Oz's wife. He's with your old man in Germany, apparently. Oh, yes. Um... Well, you better come in then, Pat. Just for a minute. Do you mind coming through to the kitchen? Oh, it's freezing in here. Oh, no, I don't wish to impose. Would you like some coffee? I'm not interrupting anything, am I? No, no. This is Alan. He's just round here mending my boy's bike. How do you do? Marjorie's husband's out in Germany while we're Dennis. Oh, there hasn't been an accident, has there? No, no, nothing like that. Sit down, Marjorie. Take your coat off. Right, I'll just fix the bike then. Do you take milk and sugar? Oh, please. Well, Marjorie, what can I do for you? I don't know who else to turn to. I got your address from the steward at the club. Your Dennis and used to play snooker there, didn't they? Well, um, they might have done, yes. Well, the thing is, they've been gone... Oh, what is it? It's the month now? Yeah, must be. And I've never heard from him once. I didn't even know he was in Germany till I went down the club for a drink one night. And that steward said, oh, I've just had a postcard from your oars. I said, well, that's more than I've had. Mind you, it doesn't surprise me. He spends more of his life around there than he ever does at home. They're in Dusseldorf. Oh, that's nice to know. Did he not discuss it with you before he left? No, the bugger did a flit. I didn't think much of it at the start, cos it's not the first time it's happened, Vera. But he usually crawls back when he's got no money and a pile of dirty laundry. They earn good money out there, that's why Dennis went. Well, I've not seen a penny of it. I don't know what to say, Marjorie. I mean, I could give you their address. Oh, I wish you would. I've been beside myself, just trying to keep my head above water. With the flat and the bairn. I can imagine. And just before he went, he put a down payment on a car. Now the bloke's round every other day wanting the balance. I don't know how you make ends meet, pet. Oh, I don't. I can't. How good is the money out there? But Dennis gives us, um... Well, uh, enough for me needs, you know. You're lucky to have a man like him then, aren't you? We're getting a divorce, actually. Oh! Oh, why, that's your business, pet. Certainly none of mine. I've often thought of leaving ours myself. Mind you, to leave someone, the bugger's got to be there in the first place. Oh, wait. Ain't you got the kettle on yet? I'm trying to get this fixed, Mum. I reckon he sold you a pup there. No, he never. The twice the price I pay for it in the shops. Yeah, but the ones in the shops work, don't they? And if they don't, you can always take them back. It's a bit uneconomical, that, taking that back to Fergie in Aberdeen. Oh, how do you bollocks? Short answer to everything, that, isn't it? Oh, bollocks, man! Who owns this water been in the kettle? Look, you would be glad of this if the sun room game's on. I would be, would it? I should do the TV show friendly between an English team and a Belgian team. Well, look, you won't need to get it working. We're all going, aren't we? Well, I expect so, I. As long as we don't have to stop overnight. Yeah, I'm up on the post. Come for you, Dave. Yes. Uh, well, there's two for luck, see? Oh, great. One for Bummer. One for me and uh, one for you, Oz. What? The little thing? It's impossible, man. Nobody knows I'm here. No, look, it's tying and weird. It says on a postmark. Final demand from the rear trucks. No, no, it's his hand written, that. I, I, it's a woman down, that is. No, it's not from the wife. Who oh, give her this address? That's what I want to know. Yeah, it's probably a probation officer. Oh, wait, there's no milk. 
No, no, will there ever be until someone takes on the responsibility for delegating shopping rosters? Has he? He had Dennis just as all your fault. What is? She got me a dress up your wife, man. How? Well, she went run there. Why? Well, they see where I was, and your bloody wife gave me a dress. She had no right to that. Look, guys, your wife must be pretty desperate to look up a perfect stranger to find out your whereabouts. Oh, of course she's desperate, because he never sends her any cash. Oh, aye, aye. Only now she knows how much we're making out here, because she knows how much you lot send back. So you don't know how much I'm sending home, unless by some amazing coincidence she has access to my passbook to the West Bromwich and District Building Society. Well, what's your opinion? Look, it's no use so nothing, people, Oz. You brought this on yourself, you know. You treat your wife like shit. You put out what you complain. Oh, you all have put your wives on pedestals and I. I don't know why you bother, Dennis. Your view as well provided for it. What then? What's that supposed to mean? Well, it says here, when more last went round to your house, there was a bloke there with no shoes on. Well, I expect that was Alan. Aye, Alan. Aye. Come. Aye, well, as he's Vera's boyfriend, he's round there most nights, like. What, and that doesn't bother you? It used to, but uh, in case you forgot, I'm in the middle of a divorce. Aye, well, maybe you wouldn't be if you took a firm hand with your wife. Look, if I take a firm hand with anybody, it's going to be with you, Oz. Yeah. <laughs> Look, I don't tell you how to run your life right, but since you stuck your nose at the mine, I'll just say this. If a bloke has got a wife and a kid, the least he can do is send back some of his money instead of squandering it on second-hand junk that didn't even bloody work to begin with. I never knew you had a kid, Oz. Aye. Little boy or a girl? Little laddie. How old is he? Five or six. Well, don't you know? He's six, he's six. What do you call him? Rodney. Rodney? Well, so what, like? Uh, no, 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 nothing, nothing. It's a... Uh, that's a very nice name. Oh, Rodney Osborne. It's got a very nice sort of ring to it, isn't it? Rose. So Rodney Osborne. Well, it's Rod, really, you know. The wife gave him the map to Rod Stewart. Oh. What's he like? Well, I can't stand him, like, with Merle Haggard Osborne. Sounds a bit stupid, doesn't it? Oh, I meant the kid. Oh, the Ben. He's all right, you know, he gets into a bit of bother like, but he can handle it. All right, all right, I'll be sending some money home. I can it this week, because I bought that. I want to keep some money back with the Lears game, but I will do. Just want to buy some time, that's all. Yeah, Nev. Please, it feel that? Just right on there. Not known at this address, will you? You get a nice crowd in here. I often come in here with Alan. Oh, is Alan coming tonight? No, I thought just us girls. Yeah, I'm glad you came, Brenda. I felt so sorry for the girl. I thought if we all had a drink, it might cheer her up. What's your life? <laughs> She's a bit uh, hard, I thought. But then I mean, you can't blame really. She's never heard a word. Oh, we're lucky, aren't we? Oh, thanks. We're never in Dennis. Oh, I am aware of your situation. Look, I know what you mean. Whatever happened between Dennis and I, he'd never let the bands go short. I don't know how she copes. I should go to a job. She can with a kitty. Alan thinks he might be able to take her on on a part-time basis. So what does he do? Supermarket management. He's running the new one up on the Crestley Estate. I go in there sometimes. I must keep a look out for him. Do? He's quite senior and pulls strings. So he thought three days a week, you know, part-time, might help her out. Well, it can't hurt. Oh, here she is. Oh, is that her? Oh, I've pictured her somehow. Yeah, she is a bit obvious. Hello, Marjorie. Hello, Vera. Eve, these boots are killing us. Oh, that looks nice. 
could do with one of them. Uh, do you mind? Oh, that'll do me. Mm. This is Brenda Hope, Marjorie. Hello, pet. Hello, Marjorie. How are you? Better now I've sat down. I got these in a sale in bins last January. I've never had a chance to wear them. Do you like them? Yes, they're uh, very attractive. They're supposed to be imitation ocelot. I like your hair. My sister did it. She's sitting for my rod tonight, so she came round early, tried to make us look presentable. Is Rod your little man? Oh, little devil, more like. He's got us run off my feet. Aye. Well, they need a father at that age, don't they? Not his, he doesn't. Have you heard from ours, Marjorie? You've only just written now. Come on, give him a chance. I've given him plenty over the years. Oh, here's the waiter. Uh, three more of them, love. Anything you'd like, love. Compliments of those gentlemen over at the bar. Anything you want, that's what they said. Tell him thanks a lot, but uh, we'll buy our room. <gasps> Wait a minute, Pay. None of us are flush, are we? I don't think it's worth it, Marjorie, if it means encouraging their attention. Oh, they're not all that bad. One of them's quite tasty. Thank them for us, waiters, but we'll buy our own. Thanks, Wes. Must have been the boots. They like boots, men, don't they? Even so, I don't think it's a very good idea to encourage them. It's not what we're here for, is it? Well, no, oh, but I mean... Oh, they'll kill us if he finds out. Well, what do you think they're doing over there? They're not in the hut playing dominoes, you know. They're out on the prowl. It's not why my Neville went. He went because we're saving for a house and he can't earn the same money over here. Oh, why, that's part of it, of course. But the main reason is to get away from home so they'll act like a bunch of kids. When you're that far away, there's no questions asked, are there? <laughs> out the sight, out the mind. Neville phones twice a week, every Monday and Friday, without fail. No, but we weren't born yesterday, were we? Shut up, Marjorie. Brenda and Neville are a very happily married couple. <laughs> Why, maybe he's the exception. I'm just saying that most of them, when they get out there, they act like a bunch of lunatics. And we were thinking of having a curry in that new Indian place, Marjorie. <laughs> or do you have other plans? Oh, I don't like curry. Stays with us for days. I don't want to be too late myself. You haven't upset you, have I, pet? No. Whatever gave you that idea? It's gone into you, Brenda. What do you mean, looning around? Of course I'm in the bar, man. That's where the telephone is, isn't it? No, there's nobody here but Wayne and Barry playing cards. Eh? Oh, hang on, pet. Hang on, man. Uh, two pills, please, Klaus. What about Neville? Yeah, he started his first jet. Too busy getting stick from the wife. I don't know. He comes in here faithful every Monday. Fistful of change. Five minutes after the cheap rate starts. Dreams are missed. It's good as gold. Gets a verbal bollocking. I don't understand married men myself. I think I know the reason for this. Oh, yeah. Well, you have a, uh, you have a deep-rooted dislike of women. Which explains why you have no desire to form a permanent relationship. No, you're obviously the product of a broken home, right? Or you're, uh, you're brought up by parents who fought all the time. Uh, I can see you as a child, lying awake into the early hours, listening to your parents, fighting in the living room below. Yeah, you know, I think like that scars a child for life. Well, I suppose it would, yeah. But I'm chewing it. I thought I'd hit the nail on the head. So, um, how comes my folks have just had their silver wedding then? Oh. Oh dear. Don't be so put out there over the moon about it. No, no, no. I'm, you know, I'm chuffed for them, really. really. Chuffed. Got it working. Hello. Listen to this. Ah, oh, bollocks. No. Pet, I'm not in a discotheque. Boys, right. come on, man, I'm gonna be late. Hurry up. He's up here.
Oh, no. Got something. Listen, this is a match. Probably boxing. No, no. No, it's football, isn't them claxons? That's your continental football crowd. What sort of language is that, eh? It's supposed to be Belgium, isn't it? Oh, well, it's, it's not German. This must be the game. Still can't tell who's doing what to who and when, can you? No, but it's, it's one of my home teams from back home on the radio. It's exciting, isn't it? Don't know why you didn't go with us and Dennis, if you're that keen. Well, I think they do with me, man. I mean, Brenda's got better things to do with your money. She's got nothing to do with Brenda. It's my decision. I, mean, I love football, but the fans these days are ruining the game. Especially abroad. Got no desire to go and ram paging through the streets of Liège with a bunch of drunken savages. I should feel it all, though. Yeah. Maybe at the forefront, wouldn't he? Oh, the barbarian. Shh. What is it? Ah, oh, it was a goal. It must just be a corner. Tragic what's happened to our national pastime, though. I remember when I was a lad. The terraces would be packed. Jammed together like sardines. Never a cross word, no. My mother would go. My sister. She would even leave the house now. It's not the fault of football as such. No, it's a, it's a social problem. Unemployment. Urban frustration. Now these lads, well, you know, they've simply chosen the football stadium as their arena of protest. Go back to sleep, Barry. It's a goal! Must be one of theirs, eh, if they're that chuffed. Ajax? A Dutch team, aren't they? <laughs> You've got the wrong game, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, yes. Ernie, Ernie. Well, one good thing about the draw, eh? You lot won't take out your trying for your defeat on the innocent bystanders of Belgium, eh? We're not eating that, man. Yeah. We just came by the trip. Have a good time. Yeah, no bother. Mind you, there's always the lunatic fringe. Right. I'd avoid that one over there. How are you allowed to get here then? Clean. They ran three charters from Newcastle. 42 quid and all. Not bad, eh? You lads aren't working like Well, me and Brian, you know, just. I was in the shipyards, riveter. Now I'm driving the furniture, man. It's desperate of all, we man. Well, what do you think I'm here? Well, you like it, do you? I've got no choice. I have my own business, you know, job and build. I worked me bollocks for five years. Made no difference in the end, you know, I went under. Still all the government VAT. <laughs> I thought I'd work in the oil rigs for a while myself. That's good money if you don't mind spending your time up in Aberdeen. Yeah, I spend mine up just the same. Just off, you know, Monday nights. Uh, good crack on them. Yeah, it's worth it, you know, despite the drawbacks. Is gonna look for some action, are you? Can't it? No, I'm gonna I'm stopping you. Oh well, only got one night, man. There's no point staying in one. Yes. Oh, look, you'll be at the station at 11 o'clock, right? Look, the train won't wait for you. Neither will I. <laughs> Who is he? He's one of the drawbacks. <laughs> One one. Good game, was it? Mm. 
Yeah, especially. Well, we're disgraced. Wait, where's ours? God knows. Oh, where's the whip? Oh, a man, Jack. Oh, we're having a whip round for the driver. What driver? Well, the pilot, like. Pilot? What are you talking about? Pilot. Yeah, I'm on a plane. Oh, aye. We're just coming in land and all, so passing our safety belt, extinguish all cigarettes and cop up. Land? Land where? We're in Newcastle, man. We're home. Home? I'm not home, man. I live in Germany. A couple of the lads carried you on. You were wearing a scarf. They must have thought you were one of us. I know, but I never had a ticket or anything, man. It didn't matter. We're all on a group ticket. There's always more seats coming back than there's going. What was that like? Oh, I always leave a few behind. Like last year when we went to Sport in Lisbon. Three of the lads haven't been seen since. Oh, I'm supposed to be at work in an hour. In Dusseldorf. Oh, I'm sorry, mate. Where can we drop you off? You got any family here? Nah, just a wife. Can't wait to get off, can you? It's not that, pet. I'm on early shift this week. I've got to get back, have a shave, be at work by eight. All right. Again. Aye. I'll keep in touch. Tara. Choice. Didn't you? No, well, when I read your letter, you know, I was really upset, so I just said, get your cell over there, Shorby. So I got the first available flight. Because of me letter? Yeah. Nothing else? Well, what else could that be? Oh, nothing. Look, we've obviously got things to talk about, right? But uh, first things first, get the kettle on, will you? Make us a cup of tea. Well, I didn't really expect it. We wake up on a bench in the park or the railway station. Or the massage parlour, eh? <laughs> don't give a rat's right at us, does he, eh? Hey, we'd better cover for him, though, eh? No, well, it's no problem. If you don't work, you don't get paid. Oh, wait a minute, then. They're always got it in for us. Remember what happened the other week? Couldn't wait to ditch him. Any excuse? Well, oh, come as well. Perhaps he's a bit of subterfuge. What's he suggesting? Oh, bloody hell. Why do all our problems revolve around us, eh? Why is it always me has to sort them out? Lock it or not, then. You'll see the oddity, mate. Hey, you can see he's sick. I mean, no one will come checking the odd, would they? You should know, mate. You've been sick since you got here, eh? Have they checked on your welfare? Oh, never. Could have died for all he cared. Ah, uh, well, no one's certain. Oh, right, listen, yeah. If Ulrich asks, let's get the story straight, right? We'll see that uh, he's sick, OK? With the, er... Uh... With the pap. <laughs> oh, <laughs> man, seriously. Oh, that's the most likely. Yeah, but don't stop me laying bricks, does it, eh? Nope, oh, only straps. Yeah. <laughs> really original, you know. Was it? Was in the papers the other day? I, that's right, toxic shock syndrome. Oh, that sounds horrible. What is it? I don't know. I think you get it from eating change of churn if you've got manky. Right, look, that sounds plausible enough, OK? Well, she's got that agreed. What's Aye. up to you, Daniel? You're the leader. Barry, man, get stuff. Oh, I'm exhaust. You haven't had the sack, have yours? What makes you think that? Well, you've had it plenty of times before. No, no, man, Margie. But it's not easy for me over there, man. This German gut has got it in for me. 
So I'm not making the sort of money that Dennis and Neville are making, see? Well, and he won't be very pleased that you're not at work today, will he? Ah, well, that's his hard lines. I told him I says there's more important things in graft. I says it's more important that I get things straight out with me, missus. Well, I'm touched, Oz. But, you know, the money you spent on the airfare, me and Rod could have used that. Well, isn't it money well spent if we can patch things up? I mean, when I read your letter, I thought you needed some sort of gesture reassurance. I thought I was losing you. So I didn't think twice, I just got me cell over here. I mean, it might have been a bit impetuous, fair enough, but I didn't stop to count the pennies. No, I appreciate that, Oz. Mind you, while we're on the subject, uh, I'll need a few bob to get back. Where's that supposed to come from? Ah, where, man, Margie? And I always put a bit in that pot on the mantelpiece. For Rod's birthday and things like that, not for airfares. How is he there, Ben? Wake him up in a minute. Otherwise, he'll be late for school. Does he miss it? Naturally. You're his dad. You buggered off without a word, didn't you? Well, there was a reason for that, man. I thought if you knew what I was doing, you'd try and stop us. Oh, you could at least have let us know where you were. That's why I had to go round to fear us. Well, you know where I am now. I'm in Dusseldorf, and I'm trying to make a few bump of the three were. Well, I'm no saint, neither of Well, if you are, darling. Not now. We've got to get Rod off to school. All right, all right. I'll tell you what, eh... Uh, Knock us up some bacon and eggs and I'll wake the bairn up, eh? Mm. All right. I don't keep it in there anymore. What's up? So you came back because you were so upset about me letter. Oh, aye. It brought tears to me eyes, darling. You lying told you never even bloody read it. We you talking about? Of course I read it. Then how come it's come back not known at this address? Well, I can explain all You're that. not even in bloody Dusseldorf. God knows where you've been. Well, well. <laughs> I still love you, Pat. No, I didn't mean half of what I said it honest. Dad be daft. Look at the expression on his boat. Guilty, apologetic, hanged dog is talking to the wife, isn't he? Yeah, he always finds Brenda on Mondays and Fridays. So now it's Wednesday. He's a creature of habit, is our Ned? Yeah, but think back, son. Conversation last Monday ended a bit acrimonious, didn't it? Oh, Lots of heavy dialogue. He's been brooding about it for days. So now, he's giving her a belt to make amends, isn't he? Sorry if I upset you, darling. Didn't mean it, etc., etc. It's all right. You're such a cynic, you are, Wayne. No, I'm not. I'm just a trained observer of the married man. Helps to stop me ever taking a plunge myself. No, you won't hold out for a you now. It's natural for a man to want a mate. One day you'll succumb. Oh, perhaps you're right. I mean, as the poet once said, a man without a woman's like a fish without a bicycle. Oh. Hey! I've just been talking to Brenda. No. You never guess what she told us. She's dyed her hair green and run off with a roadie from the clash. Huh? Take no notice, Neville. He's so sharp he'll cut himself. What is it? Oz? He's in England? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, sorry about last week, like, you know, I was feeling a bit beady, you know, up with the uh, damp weather conditions and the economic recession. Yeah, yeah. So no offence, like, eh? No grudges. Nine, nine, all is good. You hadn't docked me pay packet, have you, to extract some kind of childish revenge? Nine, all is in order, no. I hope not, mate. Norris. Uh, Patterson. Hope. Yeah. Thanks, Mr. Uh, Guess. Yeah. Bastbridge. Uh, Moxie. Yeah. Reed. Yeah. Johnson. Yes. 
Taylor. Osborne. Where's Osborne? Uh, Dennis, uh, I think I've uh, better deal with this, mate. Yeah, I'll take Osborne, sir, Fister. Uh, this is for three days' work only, why is this? Well, uh, he's sick. Oh, toxic shock syndrome. I'll deal with this, buddy, all right. Oh, as you were, Dennis, right. Does he come back next week? Well, it's hard to tell with this thing. I mean, it can linger on a bit, you know. If not, I must replace him. Well, uh, I'll let her Grunwald know first thing Monday morning, but I'll take his wage packet for him. Sign here. Cheers. Thanks. All right, why do you think you went home? Do you think you was worried about his missus? Yeah, not us. No, you know what I think? I reckon he's had a few jaws with those Geordie lads. And he scored a free trip home on their charter. Oh, I thought maybe we'd got through to him and he'd went home to try and sort his marriage out. Ah, don't kid yourself, man. He never thinks past. He's new as us. If you ask me, we've seen a lust of him. You right? Back home, I'll cut the paints with the lads in the club, see the wife. Oh, you saw it, did he? But surely, I don't wait, I was back, I might as well saw it, didn't it? Oh, we heard you'd been back home. Oh, hi, how's that, mate? Like? I was talking to Brenda, she told us. Ah, uh, well, look, from now on, we'll just keep the wives mafia out of our face, shall we? Because one of the good things is, Marjorie does her norm in Dusseldorf. But as far as she's concerned, it's the last place you're going to think of looking for us. On the rear, me. The invisible man. Why can't think of anyone less invisible than you are? Hey, where's my stereo? Oh, uh, I've got that, Oz. I'll last next time, eh? No, it's, it's mine now. What? Yeah, I sort of bought it, like. No, not me, you didn't, uh, I think uh, explanations are, uh, are in order. Yeah? Uh, Dennis. Yeah, well? I realise it's, uh, it's like this, sir. Yeah. Us lads, like, we thought we'd seen the last of you, you know. Thought you'd gone for good. Yeah. So we said to ourselves, what shall we do with this stuff? So what did you do with it? Well, we went through your locker, you know, thinking you'd need the money. And uh, the only things we found of any value were your donkey jacket, your digital clock, and your stereo. Well, they're gone and all, where are they? Well, uh, we had an auction, us. An auction? Oh, it was a democratic decision. I've got the digital clock. I've got the jacket. And uh, I've got the stereo. What a bloody nerve! Oh, wait a minute. Look, we weren't selling you short. I mean, we raised 230 quid. Right. That plus your three days' wages came to nearly 400. Well, that's not so bad, cos I can borrow a bit to get back. I'm buying that straight back, mind. Where's me money? Yeah, well, the thing is, I was thinking you'd need the money, like, you know, we, uh sent it home. Who? Huh? Well, I'm here, man. What's going to happen to it? I would think your wife would find a use for it. Uh -huh. 